Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out Ford versus B Ferrari from 2019. I clearly don't know how to pronounce the title. I don't know if you're supposed to say V or versus. That's how much I know about like cars and racing and things. So let's get right into it. Here we go. Ford V Ferrari. If you missed my Batman trilogy reactions with Christian Bale, make sure you check them out. If you missed all the stuff I've done with my crush Maddie G, The Martian, Ocean's Eleven, The Bourne movies, make sure you check those out. And like I said in the intro, I literally know nothing about cars or racing. I like when cars go fast. I really do. Yes. Maddie D, my all-time crush. Christian Bale, Batman himself. Ford V Ferrari. Maddie D. Coming in. I've obviously heard of Ford and Ferrari, but I know nothing about the people or the cars. Oh, he's literally on fire! Fill the tank! Am I on goddamn fire? No! Fill the tank! Fill the tank! Racing is no joke. I know it's huge, especially in the States, I think, but it's just so dangerous, right? I wonder if it was as dangerous back then. Shelby. What? This is something you can't ignore anymore. Shelby. You run a critical risk of cardiac arrest. Well, I could race NASCAR. The valve is shot. This is as serious as it gets. So if he keeps racing, he'll have a heart attack? Huh? You dedicate your life to something and then you get sick and you can't do it anymore? There's a point where everything fades. The machine becomes weightless. A month ago, this car was fun. Now, it won't even start. When I pull out of the driveway... It's Batman. Nothing wrong with the car. Does he have his English it's accent in this? British. I've never heard it. He's British, right? Actually, I'm not sure now. I want my money back. I'll give it to you, but you haven't paid for last month's service. The customer's always right. You ever hear that? Yeah. Another satisfied customer. I can help you, miss. Wasn't that an MGA 1500? Ah, you I know. know. You can't. I love him with this accent, though. Prepare yourself to hear my terrible British accent. What type of girl are you? <laughs> Are you some kind of a deviant? Well, only since I married you. Oh, it's his wife. Okay. I was like, well, these two are perfect for each other. Okay, well, frigging adorable. He sure doesn't seem like Batman in this. He's such a good actor. Shut it down, Mr. B. Shut it down. Hear that? That's the sound of the Ford Motor Company out of business. Dramatic. Here's what I want you to do. Walk home. I want you to ruminate. Man comes to my office with an idea, keeps his job. Rest of you losers, stay home. Wow, did this really go down? I want you to walk home. That's pretty intense though. Like how dependent we are on our cars to get to work, to do everything, really. <laughs> Hi -oh. oh. You're up bright and early. Well, Mr. Shelby, can I get an autograph? Hey, take it easy on me today, bud. Paragraph 15.4. All AF class cars must have minimum trunk space 20 inches by 12 inches. Your trunk doesn't close. Car fails standard. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what? Are disqualified from said no, class no, no. Come on. Well, Brumos is looking for a driver. Is that right? Hey, hey, Bill. Sure. Hey, right. Bill, what seems to be the problem? I do want to see these two together. <laughs> <laughs> He's a loose cannon. Happy Bill! <laughs> you like losing, Ken? I don't lose. Without sponsors, you get no car. You mm. cannot win the SCCA without one. Did you bring your son all the way out here to watch you get disqualified? Yes. Whipped it at him! He's got a little temper, a little British temper. This is Ken Miles here. We need to speak to Mr. Miles. Here we go. I gotta learn to drive the stick. Sorry about your luck, Gavna. With just one lap remaining. So many cars are just like, I don't know what's happening to them. Are their tires exploding? Is that normal in a race for cars to just be like, and then drive off? Let's go. Oh, cool music. It's like jazz. Come on. But like Western. Okay, so they're really in sync with each other. He's driving like Maddie D as she he could. He's gonna win it. Yeah. Yo! Frame this. I think he's got the trophy. The IRS came. 
They've padlocked the garage. So just to be clear, we are buggered. Absolutely. He's going to have to win money racing, right? It's time for the Ford Motor Company to go racing. We're already in racing, Iacocca. It's regional, sir. You open up a magazine, you don't see good old boys in Salem. You see uh, Sophia Loren. James Bond does not drive a Ford. Bondy! Because he's a degenerate. Ah. Abba, you should bite your tongue, sir. Why exactly should Mr. Ford listen to you? Because we've been thinking wrong. Ferrari. Now, they've won four out of the last five Le Mans. We need to think like Ferrari. Ferrari will go down in history as the greatest manufacturer of all time. That's Is a bold thing to say in front of him. The, it's because of what his cars mean. Victory. Mm -hmm. I think he's right. What if the Ford badge meant victory? And so spent every lira he's got chasing perfection. And now he's broke. You don't have to give up racing to get a bloody day job. If you stop, you'd be bloody insufferable. It's over. She wants him to keep racing? That's surprising. I feel like usually the wives would be like, it's too dangerous. You should retire. Lee Iacocca, Ford Motor, Michael Gautzi, Ferrari. This merger between our companies will form two entities. Ford will pay the sum. Per oh. Oh. Uh, for 10 milioni di dollari. Was that 10 million? Avrò bisogno di un po' di tempo. You will need some time to read this. Signori, ho solo una piccola. If I wish to race Le Mans, you do not wish for me to race. Do we or do we not go? No, you are correct. You do not go. He's not going to like that. What exactly did he say? He said Ford makes ugly little cars. About me. He said you're not Henry Ford. You're Henry Ford II. Oh, that little tiny smile left his face so slowly. <sighs> Ford v Ferrari. This means war. I want the best engineers, the best drivers. I don't care what it costs. We're going to build a race car. Well, that's probably what the executive guy wanted, to get him mad enough that he'll want to go to the race and beat him. Henry Ford II. Suppose uh, he wanted his company to win the Mont. You're one of the only Americans that's ever done it, so... Build me a car. What's it take? It takes something money can't buy. So you're saying it's challenging. I like this guy. He's kind of handsome. Kind of a sexy voice. Le Mans eight and a half miles of country road. You got to do that for 24 hours. Huh? You have to drive for 24 hours? Cars coming up on you out of nowhere. Drivers stumbling around the track. You're exhausted. Can't remember your name, what country you're in. All of a sudden, you realize you're doing 198 on a straight. And if anything goes wrong, that's it. Whole thing's over. Yeah, it's challenging. He misses it. You think that we are incapable of winning an event like that? Even if we had a brilliant partner? Even if we wrote a blank check? A blank check. You can't buy a win, but maybe you could buy the guy who gets you a shot. Is it our British fellow or him? Build a car to beat old man Ferrari. That's right. You think the Ford are going to let you build the car that you want? Those guys. That's what they said. He's serious. They're going to put real money behind it. <sighs> They're launching the new Mustang. They're going to announce the race program. Just come on by. Listen to my speech. Bring <laughs> Peter. He'll love it. All right, Shell. Look at that. <laughs> What do you think? I don't think it's a secretary's car. I like it. It's a secretary's Excuse car? Is that not cool? I thought Mustangs were cool. I don't know anything about cars. Is this, is this your son? It's yes, your she disgusting is. child. Would you, Leo BB? I'm responsible for the launch of the Mustang. At least now we know who's responsible. It looks <laughs> fantastic, but inside, it's a lump of lard. <laughs> Thank you. When I was 10 years old, Pop said to me, son, it's a truly lucky man who knows what he wants to do in this world, because that man will never work a day in his life. But there are a few people who find something they have to do. Something if they can't do it, it's going to drive them clean out of their mind. I'm that guy, and I know one other man feels exactly the same. His name, his name is Mr. Henry Ford. Oh. Let's go. Why did he want him to hear that speech? He had to know that would be insulting to him. Just driving the wagon. No, 30 minutes. What is Trust so me. giddy about? 30 minutes. I'll have you back for meatloaf and gravy. Whoa, where are we going? Oh, it's a car. Interesting. Interesting. He loves it. He'll do it. Well, it's awful. Yeah, right. Hey, it doesn't track. Talk is not reaching the road. But he wants to work on it. I know it. You're back late last night. Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't go any place. What? Did you go any place last night? Don't lie. Summing up, love. What are you doing? You're driving very fast. Slow down. Look, I saw you. All right, I 
saw you leaving with Shelby. I went to look at a car. A racing car. Short of. There's a corner coming. You better hold on. Girl can drive. You told That's me you were short. Oh, I thought she wanted to keep driving. I don't understand. Neither do I. Just don't lie to me, Ken. Don't make it a secret what you want just because you, you think it's going to make me happy. I don't even know what I feel. If you do this, then you better be paying you this time. It's 200 a day plus expenses. That's good for back then, I imagine. $200 a day? Are you nuts? <laughs> I kind of want some candy. I know some of you guys don't like when I eat candy, but don't be mad. Welcome to Dearborn. What are you doing at a test track? I wanted to hear your thoughts on a few planning decisions. Personnel for Lamont. Ken Miles, Phil Hill. Feels a lot. We're less sure about Miles. Yeah, they don't like we him. Like we, well, you don't want the best driver for the car. That's Ken. Ken Miles not a Ford man. What's the one thing money can't buy? A pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. We think he may be too pure. Too pure? What exactly does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? I thought that was slang. I just didn't get ABC puts a microphone under his nose. Millions watching. Uh, do you trust him not to put out the wrong message? I do think they're right, though. He's not like a company man. He does not care about the PR. Put a Ford type driver in a Ford car. That's the Ford, Ford is kind of lame in this, I gotta say. Don't come for me if that was blasphemous. Ken, can I get a word? Do you know why they put that 40? Regulations. We've got to be 40 inches high. They measure it before every race. Problem is, there's too much drag under the car. We have a solution. Wedges. You're not in coming next week. It, You're not coming, Ken. It's Ford's call. It is their opinion that you are not a good image. I'm putting aside the fact that you made that car whatever the hell it is. That was harsh the way you said that. If I was him, I'd just leave right now. I'd just walk out the door. Tell the boys to watch their pace. The, uh, the gearbox will overheat. Wow, that was very restrained. I thought he was gonna freak out. Must be really hurt. So I think they probably lost. Now he's got some explaining to do. Ford loses big, yeah, 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 yeah. I hope he just says like, I told you so. The car's a big part of it, but you have to have the driver who knows how to drive it, who knows how to get the most out of it. I will send him right in. There are a lot of secretaries in Mr. Shelby. Mr. Ford, gentlemen. I told you so. Give me one reason why I don't fire everyone starting with you. I was thinking about that very question as I sat out there in your lovely waiting room. As I was sitting there, I watched that little red folder go through four pairs of hands. Of course, that doesn't include the 22 or so other employees who probably poked at it. All due respect, sir, you can't win a race by committee. You need one man in charge. The good news is that even with all the extra weight, we still managed to put old Ferrari exactly where we want him. Where? Expand. We haven't worked out how to corner yet. A lot of stuff broke. <laughs> the only thing that didn't break was the brakes. He's not amused, but I am. But our last lap, we clocked 218 miles an hour in all his years of racing. Olenzo ain't never seen anything move that fast. And now he knows we're faster than he is. Ooh, yeah. Even with the wrong driver. I'd say you got Ferrari exactly where you want him. Where you want him. You're welcome. <sighs> He's not used to being talked to like that. There is one man running this company. You report to him. You understand me? Yes, sir. Go ahead, girl. Go to war. Sorry, fellas. See, he needed a straight shooter. None of these company yes men. There to say sorry. Beg forgiveness. It's a gearbox. We ran too hot. His physicality is so different. They told me I had a carte blanche this time. I looked it up. It's French for horse shit. I know they're going to Ice cream's melting. You want me to apologize? Oh, I don't know. Let's yeah. try it out. See how that feels. Ken, I'm sorry. Sincerely. Mm. <laughs> Not good enough. Any idea the kind of shit that I had to eat? Now knock it off, Ken. This car ain't going to build itself. <gasps> kind of had that coming. OK. All yeah. right. They got to fight it out. They got to fight it out. Boys. She about to go watch what I would do. Boys. <laughs> These other dudes are just standing around too, like. Okay. Do the fizzy pop, please. <laughs> yes, love. You want one too, Shelby? No. Oh, yes, please, no. Marley. No, he can get his own. Just for me, please. <laughs> well, this is adorable. I'll go to hell. Well, I love this friendship. They had their fight. They got it out of their system. 
Now we can get to work. Let's work, boys. What are you doing? You see that crack? That's my marker for turn eight. What, to slow down? Well, you'll be going 150 miles an hour. So how do you see it? As the car speeds up, everything else slows down. You do this, and then you see everything. You can't just push the car hard all way, right? That's right. If you're going to push a piece of machinery to the limit, you have to have some sense of where that limit is. Look out there. Out there is the perfect lap. That's beautiful. You see it? I think so. Most people can't. Most people don't even know it's out there, but it is. It's there. I have chills. This is a sweet moment. This would be about the time in the story where something's gonna go wrong, though. You're saying BB is 100% in charge now? And he wants Miles gone. He and the deuce are flying there tomorrow. He's gonna tell you in person he cannot destroy the whole thing. Not for one guy. Sure I can. Because while we're here talking, he's out there getting it done. Exactly. Is that supposed to happen? He's got brake fade. No brakes, no brakes. Oh, uh, is he gonna explode? Oh, sh Peter, just stay there. Oh my god. Is he alive? He's alive. We can't use it if we can't stop. Instead of swapping out the pads, swap out the entire braking system. Put in a fresh one. We're allowed to do that. I don't read French. Brakes are a part. We are allowed to change parts. But we have time to do that. I don't know yet, Charlie. What's wrong with you? Something to do with the suits, isn't it? It's under control. You got a plan? Yeah, absolutely. A good one. It's high risk. Mr. Ford. Apologies for the unannounced intrusion. Shall we? Can I have a word? What's he gonna do? He said he had a plan. It's high risk. Oh, he's closing no, the blinds. What's he gonna do? That, he's gonna Leo. beat him up? I have been appointed director of the racing program. I do hope that this won't be a problem between us. Well, I assure you, Leo, it will not. It's just locking him in there. Well, why don't we take it for a spin? Go on, Mr. Ford, hop on in. Do you see what $9 million feels like? Oh! Oh, my God! Yeah, 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 get those engines going. Sorry, sir, if you just give me a moment. Oh, when they ready? That I was born ready, Shelby. That a boy. Punch it! Is he just gonna scare him and then be like, see, you need the right driver? Oh my god, oh my god. That would be me in there. Uh -oh. Is this part of his plan? <laughs> Whoa. I had no idea. No, you did I wish not. my daddy he were alive to see this. Now, this is not a machine. Does anybody can get in and easily control? Absolutely not. Now, you want to win Le Mans. Ken Miles is a man to do it. Well, he had an experience. I think he might be on board. Now, you let Ken Miles race Daytona. If he wins, he gets to drive Le Mans. Yeah, that's fair. As you know, we have a second team out there today. I wonder how their second team's going to do. Is this where they change everything? Hanscom is right up our ass. But how long do they stop for? I always thought it was weird that they stop in the middle of the race and then go back out. Then this pit crew is almost as important as the driver. They have to be so fast. Is this what happened on car races still? They're 24 hours? I've never heard of this. This is blowing my mind. What's he gonna say? Go faster. Go like hell. I thought we were keeping him under 6,000. What's happening? He's moving up. Yes, 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 yes! He's gonna win it. He's gonna win it. Alright. Right. Yeah! Yeah! He won that hard! Yes, Leo. We won. We won. Ford won Daytona. Shelby American. Miles driving. We didn't go miles. They have to let him race now. Is this race still a thing that happens in France? <laughs> it's gonna rain again tomorrow. He's there too. There's always rain here. Do they race in the rain? That seems really dangerous. I'd be smart to sleep, bulldog. I'm gonna go walk the first corner. No, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Counting on it. 
I hope he doesn't die. I'm getting the feeling like he might die in the race. Okay, he's a good driver. He could do this. He could do this. They're gonna win. Look at this too, buddies. Ooh, the competition. Four minutes, buddy. That's funny, I didn't know they had to like race to their cars to get in. Is that still a thing? Is everything still as it was? I've never seen anything like this where they run to the cars. I always thought they all started at the starting line. Okay, Ken, you got this, you got this, you got this. Wow, dude, oh. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Oh frig, oh frig, oh frig. His door! Oh my god. Just break it off. Where's Miles? Oh my god, his door! He's coming in! I think it's his door. Bloody door! What the hell is wrong? That's awful. Yeah. But then what if he, he what if he can't get out? He's back out. Go. Can you even make up that much time? Well, he's laser focused now. I'm so worried. They had to mallet his door closed. What if he can't get out? Yeah! Nice. Okay, he can get out. Okay, okay. I feel better. All right. We got this. We got this. Okay. All right. You're three seconds faster than Gurney. 18 now, 26 have come. How often do drivers, like, die in these races? I mean, I don't want Ferrari to win, but I don't want them to die. It appears Ferrari has also left the track. Is he okay? Eight hours into the 24. One and two for Ferrari. Is that thing happening again? Is he gonna catch fire? Too hot, right? Too hot. Here we go. Hold it together now. Brakes, brakes. Come on. Come on. Thought he was gonna flip over. Brakes, nothing. All right, let's go, let's right. go. No, 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 no. It's against the rules. No, no, no. no. This is not Calm down. Down. Calm down. You show me but... where it says. <laughs> <laughs> a part is a part. I can swap out any damn thing I want. That's right, that's right. Is this the most dangerous sport now that I'm thinking of it? I guess it's hard to say. They're all probably dangerous in their own way. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's do this again. Pass him. Pass him. That's my girl. Oh, he's maxing out. Oh. Oh my god. Bloody hell! It happened. Did he just win? Like he just realized he's probably gonna win. We did it. We're in the lead. Out. We're lying Ken first and two and three, all Fords. One, two, and three are all Fords? No, I was thinking, Mr. Ford, wouldn't it be great if all three Fords crossed the finish line at the exact same time? He just doesn't want Miles to win. <laughs> what would you have him do? Slow down. Yeah. Why? This guy's the worst. Why wouldn't you want to get, like, the fastest time ever and, like, blow everyone else away? Oh, pff, that's just straight up stupid. Shelby, don't you dare. We're not doing that. They want you to slow down. <laughs> That's insane. The deuce wants the three fours across the finish line all together. That's so stupid. It doesn't make any sense. I'm really pissed. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. Then why do you even tell him? Your choice. Well, we know what he's going to do. The right thing, which is to run the race as best he can. The brakes are shot. The car's yours, Ken. The brakes are shot? So just drive it? He's going to do the opposite. He's going to go faster than he's supposed to. I'm worried now. Yeah, he's pissed. That's so insulting to ask a driver to do that. Might as well ask an athlete to like throw a game. Like you can't do that. He's gonna break his own record. Wait for now. <sighs> That's another record. It's a perfect lap. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
he alright? Is he okay? What's he doing? Come on, lads, where are you? He's slowing down to wait for them? The three boards are going to cross the line together! Ten miles, slow down! It's alright. Look, he's bringing them in. Well, if that's what he wants, I guess that's fine. I didn't think he would do that. I mean, there's still one. It's not a tie. He's saying he's traveled that little bit further, so he's won and not ten. So they took the win away from him? They robbed you, Kim. Here is the clarification. McLaren has been ruled the winner as he started the father back. I'm pissed. I never should have asked you. No, you shouldn't. You promised me the drive. It's taken this surprisingly well. It was a hell of a drive. She's a hell of a machine. No, oh, she's fast. Could be faster. You still need a lighter chassis. I was thinking. He just wants to work on it. All right, okay. Well, he doesn't seem that upset. He just wanted to race, I guess. A little bit of fuel left in the tank. What do you think of those honeycomb panels? I don't know yet. She looks pretty good. There's a point where everything fades. The machine becomes weightless. All that's left is a body moving through space and time. You feel it coming, creeps up on you close in your ear. Ask you a question. The only question that matters. Who are you? Did he crash? Is he okay? What do you think? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's really strong. Drove it for less than an hour. What happened to him? I need you to come outside for maybe a minute. And do what? Lee Carroll Shelby, come outside and say hello. Am I some kind of a lounge act? Am I here to talk people into things? It's been six months, Shell. Did he die? Mr. Shelby. Oh, hello, Pete. Do you want to speak to my mom? Well, I did. Came to say hello, check in on her, and... I think he's dead. Then I started thinking sometimes words are, are not useful. Tools are useful because you can make stuff with them. Thanks. Your daddy was, uh... He was your friend. And he thought she was just finer than frog fur. I think I've got to go help my mom. What are you doing here, then? Go on. <laughs> Wow. I can't believe he died. Okay guys, well that was Ford v Ferrari. And that was really good, although the death at the end really shocked me. I couldn't even cry at the end. I'm just like shocked that he died and I I didn't want to wait and ask you guys. I just looked it up because I was like, did he really die or did they just do that in the movie for some reason? But no, he really did die in like a freak accident. That's so sad. Man, it's such a dangerous sport. I wonder, so that's all I looked up. I haven't looked up anything else, but I wonder how true this story is, how factual it is like to history so do let me know like how close to the real story this was and i'm so curious like does this race still go on today is it still exactly the same are races safer now i would have to assume yes what a dangerous sport and what a cool movie though i really really liked it it was really fast paced exciting like i said i don't know anything about cars but i didn't feel like that was holding me back from enjoying the story at all it was very accessible to me and i really liked the chemistry between the characters their friendship was really cool I really liked the music. I really liked all the actors. Yeah, I really, really liked this one. If there are other movies like this that I should check out, definitely let me know because this one surprised me. I really, really liked it. MVP, I am gonna give to Christian Bale as Miles. He is so cool. He was completely different, like down to the way he walked and the way he moved his face. And, you know, besides having like an accent and stuff, which was different than Batman, he was so different in this. Not for one moment did he remind me of Batman and yeah, I really, really liked him. He's a very strong actor. I would definitely like to check out some more of his movies. So if there are more Christian Bale movies I should check out, please do let me know. I really, really liked him in this movie. He was awesome. So Christian Bale, Miles, you are the MVP. I'm gonna give the Loki MVP to the music, which I really, really liked. I was dancing around all the way through it. It was very cool. I really liked it. So the music, it's the Loki MVP. 
And the worst award we're gonna give to that guy that told them that they should slow down. And that's just ridiculous. I was so mad. That's just outrageous. And then in the end, he like it wound up costing him the win of the race that he deserved and he earned it. He was the winner, but he... <laughs> so that guy is the worst. Overall, I really love this movie and I definitely want to check out some other maybe like sports movies. Wouldn't normally watch, but I think could be really good and I might really, really like them. So give me some suggestions down below. I would love to hear. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.